we have periphery nervous system, which we call PNS. And we have central nervous system, which we call CNS. Now, periphery nervous system, PNS, comprise of sensory organs. It also comprises of sensory cells, sensory cells or neurons, and comprise of effector organs and motor cells or motor sensory cells. Now, the sensory organs are those organs that receive the stimuli. An example is the skin, ear, and eye. Ear for hearing, this one for sight, this one for pressure and temperature. Then sensory cell, which you call the sensory neuron, it is the one that takes information or nerve impulses from sensory organs to the central nervous system. Then effector organs are the organs that causes response. They cause response. Good example are biceps and triceps. Motor cells are the cells that relay information or coordinate the information or transmit information from the central nervous system to the effector organs. Now, the central nervous system on the other side comprises of the brain and the spinal cord. The brain comprises of cerebrum, cerebellum, uh, pituitary glands, medulla oblongata, pons, etc., and so many other parts. But you're going to look at CNS, that is central nervous system, later. For today, I want us to look at the structure and functions of the sensory or the nervous cells. The nerve cells, the nerve cells, are the cells that coordinate the organs, that is sensory organs, central nervous system, and the effector organs. So we have got these types of nervous, uh, nerve cells. Also, we call them neurons. Now, the neurons are divided into two, into three. We have one, we have sensory nerve cell, we have motor nerve, uh, motor nerve cell and have relay nerve cell. So we are going to start with the sensory cell. We're going to start with the sensory cell or sensory nerve cell or sensory uh, uh, neuron. The function of the sensory nerve cell it is to coordinate between the, uh, the uh, that is uh, to coordinate between sensory organs, sensory organs, and the central nervous system. They coordinate the sensory organs and the central nervous system. That is, they transmit an impulse from the sensory organs into the central nervous system for interpretation. So, what is the structure of these sensory cells? The structure of sensory cells are, this is how the structure looks like. We have the cell body, we have the axon, and then we have the dendrites. Then it is covered by myelin sheath. That is a myelin sheath. 
Without the dendrites. And then we have the nucleus. Then we have other cells on top of it, which are called Schwann cells. So that is the sensory nerve cell. Sensory nerve cell. By parts, we have the cell body, we have the nucleus, then we have the axon, and then we have the myelin shed or shield. Then we have the Schwann cell. We have the Schwann cells. Then we have the dendrites. Have the dendrites. So that is now the structure of a sensory nerve cell or a sensory neuron having the cell body, nucleus, axon, myelin sheath, Schwann cell, dendrites, and slide, and that. So this dendrites receives the stimuli and convert it into an impulse that is conducted through the axon towards that direction. So it receives the impulse, then the impulse is sent to the central nervous system. So let's give a small explanation to this. If my hand, so in case I touch something hot, the finger, the skin is the sensory organ. So when I touch something hot, the stimuli in this case, it is high temperature. So the dendrite of the skin will receive that stimuli and convert it into, uh, uh, convert it into an impulse. Then that impulse will be conducted through the atom, through millions of sensory cells that are connected. So this one will also be connected to another sensory uh, sensory cell to be connected to another sensory cell like that and it continues like that in between here we call it a synapse that is a neurojunction between one cell and another so the impulse after it touch something hot the skin receives that stimuli uh, the stimuli then the sensory cell takes that and convert to an impulse then it is conducted from one sensory cell to another at the central nervous system where it is taken to the brain for interpretation. So that is the structure of a sensory nerve cell. Now, before we look at the motor nerve cell, what are the functions of this part of your senior? The sun body and the nucleus, their main, their main function it is to control the functioning of the cell. They control the functioning of the cell. Then we have the axon. The function of the axon it is to conduct impulse. It conducts impulse. Then the function of the myelin sheath, myelin sheath or sheath, it is to insulate the axon. It is to insulate the axon. And the function of the Schwann cells, they produce or they synthesize, they produce or synthesize the myelin sheet. While the dendrites, dendrites receives impulses, receives stimuli, receives stimuli and convert it to an impulse. So the dendrite receives stimuli and convert to an impulse. That impulse is conducted through the axon. The myelin shells insulate the axon and the shunt cell produces the myelin shell. So those are the function all the adaptation uh, structures of the 
uh, nerve cell. So that is the structure of a sensory nerve cell. So let us look at something different, and that is motor neuron or motor sensory uh, sorry motor nerve cell. Motor nerve cell. Now a motor nerve cell is different from that of the structure of a motor cell, motor nerve cell, is different from that of the sensory in this case. So we find that the cell body of the cell body of the motor neuron is at one side. So there you are. So you're having that, that, that at the minutia. Again, so the cell body is inside. This is the cell body and the nucleus. Then we have the dendrites. Then we have the axon. My link sheet. Then, of course, we have the Schwann cells. Schwann cells. Now, the Schwann cells are the same of uh, like those of the neuron of the sensory neuron. Their function is to give the, uh, the to produce the myelin the myelin is to uh, insulate the axon, and the axon it is to conduct the impulse as it moves in that direction. Now, why is this motor neuron located? You see, if we talk about the skin and the skin giving us the stimuli, if I turn something out, then the sensory takes that information to the central nervous system. Inside the central nervous system, we have the relay neuron. The relay neuron or the relay nerve cell picks information from the sensory nerve cell and conveys to the brain for interpretation. Then it connects the same information to now motor neuron. Motor neuron or motor nerve cell. This motor nerve cell connects now to the effector muscle or effector organs to bring about response. So the motor arises from the central nervous system towards the effector. So if the central nervous system was at the center, the sensory nerve cell brings information to the central nervous system. The relay pick it and take it to the brain. Then from the brain back to relay and from the relay to motor. And then motor, the motor neuron, take information to the effector organs and this one to the, this one is from the sensory. So from sensory, uh, from sensory organ to sensory nerve cell to central nervous system to relay neuron, relay neuron to the brain, from the brain to the spinal cord, then from relay to motor, from motor to effector. And that is how the coordination takes place. So that is the motor neuron. Then we are having the third nerve cell that we call relay. From relay, it gives, it picks from one and gives the other. So the structure of a relay neuron is different from both the sensory and motor. It only has a cell body, a nucleus, and an atom, and dendrite. It does not have myelination because it is found in the central nervous system. 
So the relay neurons are found in the central nervous system, not in the, they are not found in the periphery nervous system. So the function of this one, it picks information from sensory nerve cell and gives that information to motor nerve cell after interpretation in the central nervous system. So that is the structure and adaptation of the three types of nerve cell. So that is that. Then, so we have looked at the three types of nerve cell, the motor nerve cell, the sensory nerve cell, and the nerve cell. So we'll end there for introduction to response stimuli in animals.